Alright, we've got a Daihatsu ECU now. This is the one that we uh, tried to extract the data from before and has burnt chip on it. So we finally got the replacement drivers. They're an SE655 driver. Um, we got the old one off there with some chip quick, just yanked it off the board. As you can see, we did have a burnt patch so that that burnt trace is right where are we right there where that reflection is um, and we have cleaned it up so we can just spray this down and we'll show everyone all right so as you can see um, we have repaired that trace so we just scraped it back it's only not repairable at that bottom piece there where it's burnt through um, I'll put a little bit of UV mask over that and we've just scraped the rest of it back so we've still got three quarters of that trace to use which is fine um, now we're going to clean and flux up this board uh, put some fresh solder on there and get that chip on all right and just like that our new driver's on there i'm going to let it set and get cool for a second um, we cleaned all the chip quick off all our legs look like they're lined up pretty well it's nice and solid so i'm going to go over i'm going to re-solder every single leg um, and that should be the end of that all right now we've reflowed our driver um, and all we're going to do all i've done is gone through every pin and just check every leg is fully, fir uh, firmly secured um, and the joints are all good because they are a bit of a pain to solder with the big heat sink on the bottom so everything's good everything's nothing's moving this one here is our repaired one so that's all good repaired ones all good See we've got, oh, there's a loose leg. So I've got to solder this one. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. That one we've got to straighten a little bit. That one I've got to reflow. So what have we got? One, two, three, fourth in. 